It is the 11th of October 2017, and that's to mean only one thing. It is time for episode 28 of Boruto. Declaration of War. And it's time to inherit a sword. And maybe I'm missing something here, but wasn't it kind of built up that he was set to inherit the sword, but only if he passed a test? Because if that is the case, then why didn't we see the test? I know that maybe it was to save a bit of time, but surely they could have just shown exactly what he did. It seems like Chojo just handed it over to him, unless he'd already passed the test before and was just waiting to be given it or something. And actually, on the topic of the sword, it looks a bit weird. I feel like it probably appeared before. I know when Kakashi fought the Seven Swordsmen when they were resurrected, the wielder of this sword probably showed up and I probably just didn't notice the sword much. It's got a really weird design. I did manage to get a proper good look with the screenshots here, but it seems to have two handles. I kind of get why that is, because there's no centre parting, but I don't know, it just seems a bit of a weird way to hold a sword, because if you held it with both hands, you'd kind of have to swing your whole body with it or something. Anyway, that's just nitpicking. It is a cool looking sword. I've always liked the Seven Ninja Swordsman swords. There's also kind of weird. I think one's a scythe, but you know, most of them are swords. And man, talking about the Seven Ninja Swordsman, I'm really liking Shizuma. When he originally showed his face, I thought he was going to be a generic bad guy who is all evil and stuff and sinister, but he's actually kind of oddly friendly and open. Admittedly, he's friendly and open about revolution and overthrowing the Mizukage, but, you know, I don't know, he's just quite a likeable bad guy, really. I'm talking about likeable, I really dig the Boruto stream move that Boruto pulled off in this episode. It was actually so fast that I didn't manage to get a very good screenshot. As you can see here, he's kind of in a really weird pose that makes him look a bit derpy. I know the whole point was that it was meant to be over in a couple of seconds, but kind of wish they had a better angle at this. But man, the concept is really cool, just causing a kind of slipstream of air and then using the electric kunai behind him. Kind of makes me realise how Boruto has just started out this series as a really competent ninja, which is interesting because obviously we know he gets involved with technology later on, so I guess the whole point is to kind of build up that man, he's really good at ninjutsu, is he good with technology ninjutsu? And of course, the last few weeks, I have mentioned my love of the Seven Ninja Swordsman and just the kind of lore behind it, kind of akin to the Akatsuki. I just generally like in anime where they have a large group of people who have various different abilities all team up. I think that's also why I really like comic books. It's just a team of varied people all kind of working together and stuff and fighting. And as you can probably guess, I'm really happy to see that there's a new Seven Ninja Swordsman. And it kind of fits the theme of the series as well, which is the whole concept of a new generation that's trying to be unique and do their own thing. But oftentimes they end up doing so by kind of copying people from the past. And in this case, they're basically going, well, yeah, well, we're the new Seven Ninja Swordsman. Which is really nice, the, the whole kind of theme of you never escape the past, you're always influenced by it and stuff. I may be digging way too deep into this, there's a new Seven Ninja Swordsman, they look really cool, that's all that really matters. And honestly, this arc is feeling more like a typical shonen plot. We've got the bad guy, the you know main big bad, and then there's his henchmen, who are the other five, not including Kagura, which will undoubtedly fight Boruto and the others, one after the other, until they're all defeated, and then Boruto and maybe Kagura get to fight Shizuma. Although, saying that, I know I just said that it's quite a typical arc, but this, I think, is my favourite arc so far. It really feels fleshed out and like they're taking their time with everything. The whole point that Shizuma was teased for about three episodes and the whole backstory with Kagura thing just makes it feel like they actually want you to care about these characters. Which is nice because even if this is some kind of filler arc or some arc that will never have a payoff in the overall story, you know, I'm genuinely impressed that they did take their time to actually make us care about these characters because a lot of the filler arcs, and Shippuden especially, would kind of make you feel a little for the character that Naruto would help out or the villain or whatever, but honestly, they always felt like they didn't have that much attention paid to them. Kagura, on the other hand, genuinely feels like he's one of the main cast. And that leads me on to near the end of this episode. I felt that Kagura's betrayal, or rather betrayal in quotation marks, felt a bit weak. He didn't take much convincing at all. 
I know that it was explained that he does what Shizuma says because he feels guilt, but honestly, I expect more debate than just, no, I'll never join you. Oh, okay then, I'll join you. Although, honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I feel like Kagura's doing this to kind of trick them to fall into their group so they trust him and then for him to kind of defeat them. I don't know, though, I've been wrong about things like this in the past, but I feel like that's more the case than Kagura literally just agreeing and going along with it. Ah oh man, I actually super, super got hyped to see Sogetsu. It kind of makes sense as well because he was from the Mist Village and one of the swordsmen, I think. But yeah, the shit seems to be really going down. And the whole Mitsuki following him thing is interesting as well. I'm not sure what's up with that, although that's true of any Mitsuki plot. It's never really revealed exactly what he's doing. But I don't know, is he trying to get in touch with Sogetsu to get in touch with Orochimaru? Or Sagetsu betraying Orochimaru, is he maybe going out on his own and Orochi doesn't know and maybe sending Mitsuki after him? I don't know. I'm sure that'll pay off in the next episode. I'm talking about the next episode. It is time to discuss NEXT TIME! Where shit gets serious. It looks like the seven ninja swordsmen are going to start their attack. It also looks like Chojuro and Mei are going to get involved too, and I presume Sugetsu as well. And of course, I think it's probably going to be the start of the end of this arc, unfortunately. From the brief shot that you see with Chojuro, he's fighting one of the girls from the new swordsman. He uses, like, wires and stuff. And I assume, I don't know, that'll go on for maybe two episodes. I mean, this may go on for another ten episodes or so, but this does feel like it's leading up to the ultimate thing where there'll be the ultimate showdown with Shizuma. But needless to say, I am very much enjoying this arc, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens next time, because I want to see the seven ninja swordsmen in our action. They all have their own gimmicks and stuff. And as I've said before, I just really want to see the swords in action as well, because they're all so weird. And that about wraps it up for my review of episode 28 of Boruto. As always, thank you very much for staying all the way through to this part. And if you did enjoy and would like to see my other reviews in future, then subscribing would be the best way. And of course, if you want to give some feedback, then a thumbs up or a thumbs down would be really cool just to know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. If you want to tell me in more details, then please leave a comment below. And of course, feel free to comment whatever you like as well. I will do my best to reply to all of them. And until next time, Auf Wiedersehen!